My name is Heather Turner. This is a custom Ben Kung belly bind that I made. I'm gonna wrap my friend here, Tisa Kareen. She's a local midwife. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out the tail. So I want you to take this end here and hold it up to your forehead and take the bottom end and hold it right down, right down there between your legs there. So we're gonna start off as nice and low on your hips. So you can release that part here. So this is very important. The very first knot you want below your cervix to help support your uterus. Bring your feet together and then take a deep breath. And you're gonna twist the tail around the fabric and hold it straight up. As you're going around, you wanna make sure that the fabric is nice and wide. So we're doing the second knot. You wanna tug down just a little bit to avoid gaps as we work our way up. And we just work our way around. You always want to go in the same direction. Doesn't matter which direction, just make it the same each time. Sometimes you get a little bit of extra gapping in the back, but don't worry about that. Just keep working around. The goal is to have 10 to 12 knots with as little gaps as possible. You want to make sure that you have a tank top on of some sort to help keep your wrap clean. So you don't have to wash it as often. And then also so that it doesn't tug on your skin. When you get towards the end, you don't, oh, we can go around one more time. Just keep going until you can't wrap around anymore. So the goal is to get right up underneath the breast. So here we see that there's not enough to go around one more time. So we're going to tie a square knot, just right over left, left over right. And then just tuck in the excess. 